it is time for another study vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I have been watching a lot of study vlogs lately, a lot of back to school, back to college content, study with me videos, and I have been really inspired to study myself. Now, I am not in high school, obviously. I'm not in college either, we're getting older, but that doesn't mean that we need to stop learning. I think learning a new skill, a new language is very important, and let's face it, as long as you're living, you are learning. And one of my hobbies is to study German. Now, I am not following any strict schedule or anything like that. I am studying by myself here at home. As I had mentioned in my previous study vlog, I am a bit familiar with the German language because I was born in Germany, but I left when I was very young. But I still have family there and I visit from time to time. So I want to better my German because I want to be able to make small conversations, you know, easy ones. I want to be able to order at restaurants by myself and not rely on my family or speak English. I want to try to speak better German. I am in a very basic level though, but I have been really enjoying learning and studying by myself. Now, during summer, I was not studying a lot, but I recently got back into studying and learning. The two platforms that I use are Duolingo and the German Project. I'm sure there are more platforms out there, but to be honest, I am obsessed with Duolingo. I have been using it for a while and I know that some people say that it can get a bit repetitive but I really like it. I really like that I can learn new phrases and new words. That's how I mostly study German through Duolingo, through taking tests with Duolingo and I am still, I think, in the first level, in the first basic basic swan level. One more thing that I like about Duolingo is that even though you might have completed a level, it makes you retake a test of that level to restore it because it breaks. I will show you how it looks like. So as you can see, I have completed these two levels, family and basic two, but it shows that they are, you know, broken because they remind you to practice these two levels again just to refresh your memory and to make sure that you don't forget what you learned in these levels and i am currently in level three out of six for the category of restaurants so i'm learning a few new words there and a few new phrases so i will restore these two levels now i will take two tests one for each level just to restore them and then we will move along with the level that I'm currently studying, which is restaurants, because it is very important for me to learn to order in restaurants. We love good food, we love the restaurants, so we gotta learn how to order. Okay, I restored the two levels that I had to restore. I made a few mistakes, but once I make a mistake, the test makes sure that it repeats my mistakes. So I will rewrite the word that I got wrong. So now I will go to the level that I'm currently learning, which is the restaurant level. Is the case 
and for example now the test wants me to say the phrase so with these tests I get to write the words and the phrases and I get to speak them as well Der Salat der Käse Der Salat Ist der Kaffee lecker? Das Mineralwasser, das Wasser Ja, das Ei ist lecker. Okay, did a few more tests in Duolingo, a couple more tests. And I also wanted to show you that the Duolingo app has stories that you can read and you can also read them once. It pops up a few questions to see if you understand. Of course, you can always see what each word means. It gives you the option to translate the words. And when you finish the story once, then you can reread it again and make a conversation. So it's not like a actual conversation but you're able to practice through speaking some of the phrases so it's normally two people who speak in these stories so you're able to get the line of one person and you are able to do a bit more speaking to practice your speaking so i'm going to read a story now and then i'm going also to practice the speaking so these are the stories the golden ones are the ones that I have already done. So I am in set four and I'm going to do this one. The one that says two tickets, please. So you see it pops up here, this little window and it says that you can read it. And then once you read it once, it will give you the option to unlock the conversation. And when you touch each word, it gives you the translation. Junior is in Flughafen. He speaks with the Frau on the shelter. How old are you? I am eight years old. Okay, so I finished the story once, so I can now open the conversation. I'm guessing I'm going to take the part of a little boy. Let's see. Junior is in Flughafen. Er spricht mit der Frau am Schalter. Kann ich helfen, junger Mann? Ein Flugticket nach Barcelona, bitte. Yeah, I get the part of the little boy. Okay, let's do some speaking then. Please don't make fun of my accent. It's not perfect, I know, but it's fine. Ein Flugticket nach Barcelona, bitte. Ich bin nicht sieben Jahre alt. Ich bin acht Jahre alt. Okay, wohin kann ich für 13 Euro reisen? 200 Euro. Okay, so I tried my best. My pronunciation is not the best, but at least I'm trying. Also, when you start a new level, it always gives you the option to read some tips. So you get a little bit of more grammar details here. So this is also very helpful. You can always listen. Die Frau ist Ärztin. And I use Duolingo both on my laptop and on my phone. I actually started using it on my phone through the app that they have. I didn't even know that you were able to take the tests on, lap on the laptop as well, but I think it is more convenient on the laptop. But if I'm not at home, I can take the tests through my phone and also sometimes before bed, I take some tests. I know that's a bit weird. I should be relaxing before bed, but some days I just feel like, you know, just completing one test to make sure that I practice a bit for the day. But it's lunchtime now, so I think I will take a break and I will have my lunch and then we will check out the website the German project. I am in lesson nine, which is small talk, talking about yourself in German. So we'll do that after lunch. So I'm having leftovers for lunch. I will have a chicken burger with some rice and I just made this yogurt dip which is basically some Greek yogurt and some mustard, nothing fancy. So I will enjoy my lunch and we're going to get back to studying. 
All right, so I am back and it's time for me to do lesson number nine, which is small talk in German. I will have this website linked down below in case you are studying German or you want to start learning some German so you can easily check it out. Normally, I keep notes when I learn new words from Duolingo or new phrases or if I see that I misspell a word multiple times, I will also write it down and every now and then I have a look at my notes. And when it comes to the German project website, I always keep notes. So as I see in this lesson today, we are learning the verb to be so i will write these down and then also i will learn the verb to be called so heißen to come from auskommen there are plenty more things as i see Okay, I wrote all of my notes for lesson number nine and I think for now that's all I'm going to do. But one other thing that I want to do is to start watching maybe a German TV series and to have the subtitles on so I can maybe start learning new words like that. And maybe you guys know any good German series that I could watch. And I also want to find maybe German vloggers. I try to find German vloggers but the ones that I was able to find, they didn't have subtitles. So most of the time I didn't know what they were saying, but maybe you know any good German vloggers, maybe they have subtitles also in their videos, because I think that would be helpful. But I think that for now, that would be all when it comes to my studying. I won't do anything else. Maybe later I can do a couple more tests in Duolingo. But I think it's time to wrap up this video here, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys! Mm -hmm.